In the last video, we have seen how to configure the cmakelist.txt and the package.xml file after uh, copying your uh, robotarm URDF package file into the uh, src folder of your catkin workspace. Uh, we added some dependencies so that our package will work uh, properly. So the next step is to uh, configure the URDF file which is generated using uh, SOLIDWORKS. It, contain, it may contain some uh, mistakes and uh, like not mistakes so, but uh, some uh, reverse things may be there and uh, we need to correct them and also the uh, URDF file exported from SOLIDWORKS only contains the info about the uh, robot like uh, what are the links and the joints available in it. We need to do some mod modification in it uh, so it can be uh, used for our uh, move it uh, package to simulate it using uh, move it gazebo and rvs so let's get started uh, in this document you can find some details like what are the tags and uh, what are their uh, uh, meaning using some links provided in the document you will find this document in the description so open the urdf file first in the uh, your uh, uh, your package there is a urdf folder uh, open that and uh, select this file and double click on that so it will open in the uh, your g edit uh, text editor so here you will find the uh, tags like first tag you will find here is the uh, robot tag which uh, defines your robot name then it uh, defines uh, different links like here is the first link which is a base link it has some name it has some inertial properties it has some visual properties, collision properties, and the uh, STL file which it is using. I will not explain it in detail because it will be a very long video. You can find the document for more info. Like it contains information of various links and the joints between the links. So you can find here like uh, here is the first joint, joint one, and uh, it is between the base link and the link one, and it has the range like the uh, lower limit is 0 and upper limit is uh, 3.142 it is in radian uh, 3.142 means uh, 180 degrees so we need to check like there are multiple joints and multiple uh, links you can check my uh, exporting uh, URDA package from SOLIDWORKS to uh, understand uh, what we exported you will find the link in the uh, top right corner here and uh, now uh, we need to uh, edit this URDF. So go to the uh, document I provided. So first thing is you need to add one link like word and uh, you need to uh, connect your base link with the world with the uh, fixed joint at origin 000. Uh, I added uh, the Z element as 0 0.17 to uh, give some height uh, to my robot from the ground. So you just need to copy this. Sorry, you need to select these uh, lines. The green lines you need to select. The red lines are already in your URDF. Like uh, if you see, like here, the uh, robot tag. This is already here. You need to add those lines after this tag. So play, press Enter, make some space here, and do Control V. You can keep as it is, but uh, I will uh, like I will suggest you to indent it properly to just uh, read it properly you can add tabs to indent uh, the tags and here I will add two spaces like I will maintain this indentation so that it will be easy to find the uh, links and joints again here you can see like I okay so we added the word link it don't contain any info like uh, the other links because because it is already taken from the simulation environment then we have explained the joint like uh, it uh, name is base joint and it is a fixed joint between word link and base link i have added the uh, height as 0 0.17 but you can make it 0, 0.0 but i will show you like how it affects the urdf file so we will save this then the next thing you need to do is you need to check each and every uh, joint definition in your URDF file. Suppose like the uh, joint tag contains a tag like limit. It contains the lower limit, upper limit, effort and velocity. 
So the lower limit is the lowest angle the joint can be set to and upper limit is the upper angle to at which the uh, joint can be set. So the uh, rule is your lower limit should be always less than your upper limit or your upper limit should be higher than the lower limit like this only these are these three are the valid uh, entries for the limit but if you come here you will find like uh, sometimes the SOLIDWORKS uh, makes the error only here like it sometimes uh, add as, adds the uh, lower value lower limit value in the uh, sorry the higher limit value in the lower and lower limit value in the upper so like this like 0 is greater than the minus 3.142 so you just need to swap these two values like this you need to keep this minus value in lower and 0 value in upper again here sometimes your robot can like uh, move from minus uh, 90 degree to plus 90 degree so here it made the mistake like the lower value is 90 and upper is minus 19 or in radian it is 1.57 you just need to reverse that so we will go in our urdf so we will check the first joint like we have here like uh, it don't have any ranges because it is a fixed joint then we will find our uh, next joint so here we have the uh, joint one so for this the ranges are uh, valid like uh, the up lower limit is 0 and upper is 3.142 we will go for our next joint joint 2 here you will find the lower limit is minus and upper is uh, positive so it is good again here joint uh, 3 again here it is okay it is uh, like valid Again, we are for joint 4 and here you will find the mistake like the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is minus 3.142 we just uh, need to select this we will do control X we'll remove this 0 and control V and add 0 here we just interchange the values again we will check other joints here it is good Again, link six, the uh, sorry, the joint six. It also have a correct value. As it is a linear joint, it will have some uh, good, uh, uh, like uh, it will have some smaller values in uh, meters. Again, joint seven. The joint uh, seven has a also correct value like minus zero point three to zero. The joint uh, six and joint seven are similar but they just move in opposite direction so for joint 6 you will find like 0 to uh, 0 0.03 and for this you have found like minus 0 0.03 to 0 and here it is the end of the urdf file so here between this uh, before this robot tag now we need to add some more information like i will go to the document once you check the joint we need to add some power or transmission control to our joints I will not go into deeper but I will just show you how to do that you can check uh, the online links for knowing about this so here uh, you will find this uh, green part it is completely not available in our uh, URDF so you need to copy this first I will select this and I will copy this so what you need to the purple uh, uh, like the purple uh, code shown like you need to just change these uh, words here so for transmission name like the transmission name and the actual name actuator name can be anything but this joint name should be the uh, proper name of the joint available in your in your urdf but i will suggest like uh, this link n should be the name of the parent link of the joint here as well and the joint name should be your uh, joint name so i will follow the name saving convention so it will be easy for me to edit so i will go here you need to just uh, set your cursor between this uh, last joint end ending joint tag and the uh, ending robot tab here i will just add some spaces so you can see where my cursor is and do control v then you can add some indents to uh, indent it so i will add sorry it is here
once you copied it we need to start uh, creating it you need to uh, copy and paste this uh, code snippet uh, for uh, the number of joints you have like i have a total uh, seven joints in my uidf so i need to set it for all the seven joints so now i will set it for the link uh, the joint one so joint one it the parent link for this is uh, sorry the child link you need to set here your child child link name you can set anything but yeah i will use here like link one uh, the joint here is joint one and the again here link one okay so like uh, the name it can be anything but like i uh, named it for proper uh, easy identification like link one underscore trans like the transmission and the actuator like uh, link one underscore motor and the joint is the joint one this joint is uh, available in my urdf with proper name suppose some people uh, name their joints like uh, base joint then wrist joint then shoulder joint if you have such kind of naming naming convention you need to uh, save uh, give the name here properly and the hardware type is hardware interface position position joint interface and the yeah similar for here as well and the transmission type here is transmission interface simpler transmission simple transmission now we have done it for a first joint i will just copy this now so i will not need to indent it again and again i will just copy here now i will just na uh, change the numbering here only because i have used the uh, same naming convention if you have a different joint name you should follow like you should add the names properly i will add uh, join link 3 we need to do it for all the joints I will not skip the video you can just forward the video but i will keep as it is like i will follow as it is so i am almost done like once you are done you should again uh, check like sometimes we miss the numbering so you should uh, like see where you haven't added any wrong thing so i will i know like i have correct created it correctly you should uh, check it uh, once again okay because this will not give any error you need to see it properly and you need to name this properly okay so control like a uh, save control s the next thing we need to add after this transmission is we need to add the gazebo control plugin to our urdf file if you don't add this though you write the joint controllers which we will do in next video it will not work so just to make sure to add this just copy this and uh, after the last uh, transmission tag you added like now my cursor is between the last uh, transmission tag and the robot tag okay so paste it here again uh, make sure to indent it properly sorry indent it properly so that uh, you can identify like it uh, later on very clearly okay so the uh, namespace here i will explain you while we are writing the controller but uh, if you uh, while writing the controller for our joints if you haven't used any namespace you just put slash here if you contained your controller in uh, some namespace you need to add that namespace slash like suppose you use the uh, my robot namespace while writing your uh, controller uh, uh, file the controller yml file you need to add here like my robot slash the namespace name I do I will not use any namespace so I will keep just slash here so again save go to the document next 
we need to add this gazebo self collision uh, lines tags for each uh, link you have we need to add it only for all the moving links so that uh, it will not create any error while uh, they are moving so go here I give some two spaces after that add the line again indent it properly so that it will be easy to identify again we need to do it similar to the transmission tag just we need to add here the proper link name again i followed the same link uh, the naming convention as the joint like uh, only i have renamed the base link as base link after that i have named the links like link 1 link 2 up to link 7 so i need to do it for all the links i need to copy paste it for uh, seven times because my base link is fixed only my link 1 to 7 are moving so i will add it for all the seven moving links here three again you can skip the video to next step but yeah i will not skip the video If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe. I will be coming with more lot of uh, ROS videos. And do like and share my video with other your friends so it will help me to motivate myself. So we are done adding this for all the seven links. You can again cross check if you haven't made any mistakes because it will be hard to uh, determine later on okay so we are done we have uh, created the urdf file we have configured it so in the next video we will write the uh, joint controller or the controller ROS controller for our uh, robot it will be a yml file we will do it in the next video so stay tuned and watch my next video for uh, con configuring the controllers for your robot. Thank you.